Hey, who's your favorite character from Lord of the Rings? Mine is Gandalf, the Ultra Boost Clima Grey. That's right, it's the thrilling conclusion to the Clima Trilogy. We've completed the hat trick, the triple play is done. We've talked about the triple white, the triple black, and now we're gonna talk about the, not triple gray, but the gray. If you've watched my videos about the last two Clima releases, then you already know what I'm gonna say. But for those that are here or that are curious about how the sizing works, let's get that out of the way first. As I've mentioned before, I'm consistently a size nine in Ultra Boosts. And while I did order a size nine in the triple black and the triple white, I have mentioned that they do fit a little long. In my left foot, which is my smaller of my feet, I do have about a thumbs width of space between the tip of my toe and the edge of the shoe. Knowing that, I went ahead and ordered an eight and a half in the gray to see how it fits. And I will say lengthwise, it fits perfectly. It fits like a normal Ultra Boost 4.0 does if I had ordered that in a size nine. However, I must tell you, I don't have a wide foot. I would say my foot is more narrow than anything. The length, like I said, is great, but it is a little tighter around the ankle sock area, and it is a little tight right around here. This is not a wide shoe. It's pretty thin. So if you have a larger foot, then maybe you want to go true to size. If you have a thin foot like I do, you can afford to go down half a size. And even if this becomes uncomfortable for me, I feel like I could remove the insole and it would fit just fine because again lengthwise an eight and a half in the clima works really well so that's the difference between this shoe size and what i find with the ultra boost 4.0 so if your main concern is length you can afford to go down half a size but if width is an issue you might consider staying true to size too easy of a joke to make so if this is part three you've probably seen part one and part two so why don't we just show some on feet first Honestly, the build of this shoe is completely the same as the triple black, completely the same as the triple white. So everything that I have said or that other people will say about any colorway is absolutely the same. But let's talk about it anyway and, and show some nice pictures from a wonderful Easter weekend. As mentioned, this is not a true triple gray. Why? Because, well, there's white and there's black and there is that turquoise color on the toe box area that goes all the way around from the cage of the lateral side to the cage of the medial side, and it is threaded into the prime knit upper that extends all the way around the shoe. Yes, as normal, the upper is a one-piece upper with that gray and turquoise underneath. Speaking of the prime knit upper, bigger ventilation holes on the toe box area, and then you go to your cage, which is out of that same material, very thin, not heavy at all. It's got the embossed three stripes. That is actually all gray. There is no turquoise in there at all. One thing I really like about the cage is the eyelets. I've mentioned it before. Surrounding the eyelets where the laces go through, it's just this super soft little square. It's so choice. It's so luxurious. It's not suede. It's not satin. It's not velvet. But it feels velvety. Synthetic velvet, we'll call it. For your laces, you have flat gray laces that matches the color of the rest of the shoe, and then they lead to the turquoise aglets. On the top of the tongue, which is connected to the one-piece upper, you have your Adidas logo, whooping away around to your heel cap, heel counter. This one is in your, what we still call a 3D printed matte layered heel cup in gray. Somewhat translucent-ish. It's a little bit more opaque, so you can kind of see through it, but not really, but whatever. There are some translucent qualities. And in silver, sterling silver, if you will, the Ultra Boost Riding 
branding, etc. Your white midsole is your standard Ultra Boost midsole. Nothing different from any other Ultra Boost. It's great if you love it. It's cushy, it's bouncy, it's cloudy. Not cloudy like dark, cloudy in a cotton candy type feeling. On the inside of the medial shoe, you have your white torsion system. The outsole is your standard black rubber continental outsole with your continental logo and writing in gray. And your torsion system is in turquoise. This one actually matches the color on the shoe, so good for you, good for you. On the inside of the shoe, you have your standard white honeycomb material that is stitched on top of the boost. And then on top of that, you find a turquoise insole with your white Boosty McBoosterson font. And then underneath the tongue, you have a silver boost above the sticker that has all of your shoe size information. If you like the Climas, you're gonna love this shoe. I'm not sure where I would rank this. I think this would be number two in the three rankings. I go back and forth between this one and the black. I really like the black and I really like the white that goes around it. I think it's pretty cool and I think it sticks out and just gives it a little bit of difference than being a standard triple black. But I dig on this one. I just, I, I didn't think I was gonna like the turquoise colors when I saw the pictures online, but I really like it in person. It's a great shoe. Obviously I love it, I bought all three of them, so. But they're gonna breathe well, and I really think that any of these three colorways are gonna be great for the summer. Yes, I think a black shoe will be fine in the summer. It'll breathe well. Why not? So yeah, go out and buy the shoe. I dig it. It's a solid shoe. I really like it. Go for it. As of this taping, we have crossed over 550 subscribers. Holy smokes, we like gained 30 subscribers in one day. Gosh, thanks. This is awesome. Keep watching. Keep letting me know in the comments down below what I might need to work on, what I need to improve on. I read every comment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing, all that stuff. We're gonna keep pushing and see how far we can take this adventure. If you're new to the channel, yes, leave a like. Give us a thumbs up. That's right, ain't too proud to beg. Ain't too proud to beg for you to click that red subscribe button. Yeah, prayer emojis for all. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and just chill till the next episode.